What's going on my dudes, Chensleo11 here and welcome back to another episode in the A to Z series. Today we're playing the big boy with a barrel who loves to get on the piss. We're playing Gragas and we're going to be showing you how to play Gragas top for beginners. We're going to be going a full AP build. Uh, we're going to be going to show you all the runes, all the uh, build that we're going and obviously the most important thing with these videos is the abilities. So if you are new here, drop a subscribe. We're trying to get to 1000 subscribers. Uh, drop a like as well helps out the channel as well, but drop a subscribe because we are going through every single champion in League of Legends And we've got a pretty good game here. We've got Gragas. Gragas top um, So Gragas is more of a jungler, but recently in the uh, Meta he's been played a lot as a top laner But for me to go through the abilities like I commonly do with these videos. It doesn't really matter too much um, But if you are a jungle lover, don't worry next game we will have graves um, as our bard gets caught I think they're going to get out okay. Yeah, oh, it's tight. It's tight. Dead. First blood. Good start to the game. So, Gragas, we're going to start with quickly going over his uh, runes. Uh, so, basically, we're going Arcane Comet, Mana Flow Band, Transcendent, Scorch. Uh, basic Mage um, kind of build. Fiora is going to be coming late, so it gives us a chance to get an XP advantage. Uh, the most importantly for, for Gragas Lane, and I think he's getting a nerf to his Q um, mana cost. I think it's going to 80 from 60. So what you want to do is make sure you're taking Boots and Biscuit as your secondary. I would have had it on the screen. And just take it easy with spamming the Q in the lane. And we'll go through the Q in a moment. Um, and then the build, will, I would have, we'll go through it as we go through. But basically, it's Night Harvester, um, Zonyas, something like a Void stuff. So we want to start off there against Fiora. Just a quick, quick aside before we get into uh, Gragas' passive. And if you haven't seen my Fiora video, I'd go into more detail. When you're playing against Fiora, try to keep the 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 vital proc away from the front of her otherwise you get into a bad trade like we have done here and she's going to get to the back of us so we're gonna have to burn an early flash but that's okay we're going to start off with gragas's first ability and it's called happy hour gragas periodically heals for eight percent of his maximum health upon casting an ability that's all it is um so as league of legends gets further and further along more champions come out and they're very complicated gragas is very simple especially with his passive you literally gain health when you use an ability. That's all it is. Very, very simple passive. So we look at this trade. Fiora comes into us into minions, and we are able to just absolutely destroy her in a trade, even though she should be able to demolish us because she's more of an AD champion. She can just get on top of us and auto-attack us to death. But that's good for us. We get to hold the wave here. We let his minions demolish, or her minions, I guess, demolish all of mine. That arcane comet dealing some sexy damage. So we might be able to... If we didn't have, if we didn't have flash gone, we could have just flash EQ'd her and killed her, but that's fine. So that is happy hour. That's his Q. Very simple. Uh, you want to start off of, with your with your Q level one, uh, then you want to go E level two, then take your W level three uh, three as well. So let's go through the Q, and it's called barrel roll. Very very simple. I've used it a few times. Gragas throws a barrel out. There it is there, and it goes on the ground, and it it's it stays on the ground. It gives sight, and it's like it says it's fermenting, and then you can recast it, and it explodes and does damage. Um, now, it also slows upon uh, explosion. And, like, after four seconds, it'll just detonate regardless. Okay, so you, it doesn't do more damage if you, like, let it brew longer or anything like that. So if, you're, if you can throw it on top of them, just go for it straight away. So we're going to get an early gank from the um, Ramus. But our jungle has come to help. So we're going to go perfectly onto the um, Ramus. So good, good, good rotation good counter gank from our jungler. I um, mean... Uh, we get the pick up the Ramus, we get the belly flop, it's all over. Two kills early, it's pretty much dust. It's pretty much all over for the enemy uh, Fiora. Because at this point we can just start um, scaling out of control. Especially, Gragas isn't one of those typical top laners that we've seen recently on the channel that loves split pushing and getting an early lead and just absolutely demolishing the top lane. He's more of a get kind of get ahead try and get as much farm as you can and then just collapse people in team fights because his his team fight and his AoE damage is bonkers and you'll see a couple ultimates this game um, if I can remember correctly are absolutely mental so there's the Q there we throw out the barrel we push Q again it explodes it um, uh, what else can I say about the Q nothing else I think you, you can yeah you can detonate the cast as quickly or as slowly as you want so you can see here um, why Taking the biscuits is good because as you can see we're out of mana and that's the problem with with the lane Gragas Especially when you're rushing night harvester, you're going to struggle with mana, especially with this uh, They're going to change the, the the cost of the queue 
um, to 80. So right now the cost is 70, so I think it's going to be 80 in the future. So it's not too much difference, but it does add up. Uh, just make sure when using those magical biscuits, whatever they're called, that you use it to gain mana as well as health. More importantly is mana. Okay, if you feel like you're struggling with sustain with health, uh, first of all, you have your passive, which we've been through. Second of all, just buy a refillable pot or some potions. Um, <clears throat> what else can we say here? That's about it, guys. The queue is very simple to uh, understand. Um, and it works well. The slow and the... Uh, like the Arcane Comet synergize nicely because if you land the Q, they're slowed, so then the, the Arcane Comet will hit. So next we're going to go through um, Gragas' W. It's called Drunken Rage. And basically, Gragas channels for like a quarter of a second. There's the ultimate, and we just absolutely belly flip her. Um, but we're going through the W. Basically, you do a channel. So basically, you just drink from your keg. And uh, you take you get um, damage reduction. So this is more of a tank. Uh centric ability but it's, it works well with the ap build uh, because it gives you some sort of survivability because you are a big boy um and basically after you finish channeling your next auto attack will do like it's like unstoppable it has a bit more range it does bonus magic damage and it does aoe as well so i use it to clear waves a lot as well so i want to try and look for an example in the video about um of when i use it but basically you can use it Nice Q there onto the Fiora. You can use it to burst down waves, especially with your body slam and your barrel. So there's the W to be used to get a bit of damage reduction. And we see how we did damage to both minions, even though we auto attacked one. So it empowers your next auto attack. So um, very, very cool ability. Um, in lane, you kind of want to be using it. If the enemy has a telegraphed uh, ability that does damage, you can use, and they, they got to get in close to use it. You get a nice uh, deep ward there to see the enemy jungle's blue side um, jungle. So if they have a telegraphed Q, for example, most champions have a ability like that, you can use your W uh, to prepare, you get damage reduction, then you can hit them with a burst of um, you know bonus magic damage on the auto attack. Beautiful, we dodged that from the Fiora there. So that's basically the W and the Q, very simple so far. Gragas is a very, very simple champion. And that was his E, the belly flop. So you saw there, we get the nice flash off the Fiora there, just to get the hell out of there. Because we are, we have a disgusting item advantage right now, so she shouldn't even try to fight us. Um, so basically, body slam. You charge forward with your gut. You just power towards enemies, and if you hit someone, like we did against those minions there, you do AOE damage and you knock any enemies up in the air. So the best part about this ability is you can combo with your Q and just burst people down. That's the ultimate there. Oh, see how we, we body slam some minions there, but it's okay. We can finish all with the Q. Um, so yes, that's one thing with the body slam you got to be careful of. It hits obviously the first thing it hit, like it hits the minions there. You can't just target on the Fiora and just jump to her. Um, imagine a targeted dash, that would be busted. Uh, literally every new champion that's uh, made these days has that. But basically that's all it is. You just charge forward with your gut and you knock people up in the air. It does actually a surprising amount of damage. It has a, a really strong AP ratio. Um, so it means you can use it to clear wave. So what I did there, just here I'm doing... So W just to do some first damage to the front line. Um, and do I do a body slam? Normally I'll go to the back line and I'll do a body slam um, Q combo to like one shot the whole wave, but I didn't in this situation. It does cost a bit of mana. So that's why I didn't talk about the summoner spells, but that's why I like to take, do I do it here? Uh, teleport. The reason for not going ignite, although it makes sense in, in Gragas' play style is to be like a, you know, let's win the lane and join for team fights sort of champion, not really split pushing. You kind of need teleport just for the mana sustain because you will be getting through your mana uh, very quickly. You can buy a double Doran's Ring to help with that. Um, but it's fun to just go full raw damage and just one-shot everything. So that is the Body Slam. Very, very simple. The last ability uh, we're going to be showing you is uh, called Explosive Cast. And it's Gragas' ultimate. Not sure what I'm doing here with the camera. So basically, I've done it a few times. You throw your cast, your barrel... It travels a fixed distance and then it explodes on impact. So this is an ability you can kind of point wherever. So you, it's not like a point and click ability. It's actually really important where you aim it because, boom, there's the body slam. Uh, again, it synergizes with your, there's the cast there. So this is what I mean, what, it's important where you aim it. I threw it behind Fiora because it knocks people away from the barrel. So what you can do is, Gragas, is you can, if people are running away from you in that situation, I just did it to the Fiora, you throw the barrel over them 
and then it bounces them towards you or back towards your tower or back towards away from safety for the enemy laner. Uh, if you're really sick on Gragas, you can set up a barrel, say, in a bush, and then you can ult people into your barrel. Um, if you go on YouTube, you, I'm sure you'll be able to find uh, plenty of examples of that, but obviously I'm not a god on Gragas. Um, and that's basically all it does, right? It does obviously a crap load of damage, um, knocks them, it's there in the air, knocks them back. I think it gives true sight as well. Um, look how much damage that Q did, bonkers. So you want to max Q, then max your E, then max your W. So um, when you're playing, hang on, let's have a look when we do this gank. We just absolutely destroyed this Ramus. This Ramus is finished. We just ignore the Fuhrer at this point, chuck the barrel at, him at the Ramus. I think we can go for 2v1 here. There's the W, there's the body slam, Fiora's in trouble, and there's a the double kill. So at this point, it's all over. Seven, we're 7-0. Seven oh. The amount of damage we are doing is absolutely disgusting. So when you get super far ahead on Gragas like we are now, it's fun. There are situations where you find yourself behind or even, and it's, it's not going to be bonkers every single game. Um, but he is, like, honestly, a very, very fun champion when you, when you are ahead. Um, has very clear goals, very clear engage, has uh, great team, like insane AoE team fighting abilities. Literally all of his abilities are AoE, so you can demolish team fights. Um, and I'm telling you, when you hit a nice sexy five man ult um, and screw up the positioning of the enemy team, uh, so your teammates miss abilities as well, that's what's a bit fun about it. That's an interesting dive from the Akali. Didn't quite get the jungler. Um, it's, it's super worth, it's super fun. So we are already got our tier two boots and we got night harvester and it's 11 minutes. So we're big. So we're just going to TP, TP down because I think I saw the uh, blitzcrank and that chilling in this bush trying to cause pain. Look at this. So we're just going to run in, belly flop the blitzcrank, chuck the ultimate double kill. See you later. Good night. <laughs> That's insane. Um, no, I don't know. This is a fun game. This was an absolute fun game. So I hope you guys enjoying the video. Slap the like button if you are. So we're going to transition to the into the dragon. Why not? Let's take as much as we can. Notice top lane Fiora is um, getting free farm and a tower plating. So um, against an enemy split pushing champion like Fiora, it's a bit it's a bit dodgy, but that's fine. Um, interesting had a Nar mid lane. It'd almost be better if the Nar matched up against the Fiora and I went mid lane, but I'd rather show you Nar. Um, sorry, Gragas uh, top. Uh, because he's currently played more there than the jungle. So we'll, talk, we'll have a quick mention, talk about the jungle quickly. So obviously Gragas um, is out, like f by far most likely you would be seeing him in the jungle. Recently he's been played only top, uh, more than jungle. Um, because the new items are good and he, Gragas can get away with it. If you, are far, if you want to try him in the jungle, uh, you can just look up clearing paths. It's not too difficult. Uh, I'd just go... I do what I always do with junglers and just go full clear. Gragas uh, does better with items, so I think just full clear. And then you got very clear, good good gank ability with, with that ability there, uh, the belly flop. So in the lane, uh, just grab as much farm as you can. We're farming really well um, so far. Uh, and you can see what I do with my barrels there. Just get, line up everything and detonate and explode everything. So there's a bad example of an ultimate. So what I did there was I screwed up the aiming and what I did was push Fiora away from me. So um, the cooldown is only a minute at this point. It's not too bad. Uh, we do have 43 um, ability haste. So it's actually not too bad. We whiff that Q. I think we could probably just dive her at this point. We're just letting our minions attack her. And we're just going to whittle her down. And now we could probably just go in. Yeah, she's out of position here. See you later. Oh, didn't quite have enough damage. That sucks. But as you can see, there's not much I can really do on the map. Um, I could probably go get the Rift Herald or gank the mid laner. But we did just kill the enemy mid laner, so they're probably... Um, our, this Ramus has come back for more. We whiffed our, another bloody... Um, oh, we missed the belly flop as well. We suck, guys. We suck. Probably just missed this Q. Too fast for us. It is what it is. Trying to throw an emote at him. Hit him with a Blitzcrank. Um, but ba basically what you can do is just, just keep shoving in waves, try and get the tower. If Gragas is, you know, if you're playing Trindamil, Fiora, even Nar, like la last episode, Garen, Darius, those really filthy AD champions that can really demolish towers. Um, this makes more sense, whereas when you play basically a burst, blow up everything mage like Gragas, um, although we do decent damage to towers, it's just not as quick. Um, and the, the, the good thing about playing an AD champion like, you know, the champions I just listed is 
uh, they they can basically hit minions for free because their abilities some of them don't have mana and they have a lot of AD so they auto attack slap. So when you're playing Gragas, you can have a look here. I just say, oh shit, I need mana. Let's go steal the blue buff because who's going to stop me, right? So this is when you become busted. When you get a blue buff on Gragas, this is when you're absolutely busted because you don't have that limitation of your mana anymore because that's the only thing stopping him from being disgusting. So you can see here, if we're just auto attacking, we're not actually that strong. Uh, so we're going to take the blue buff. And this is just a good habit to get into, you get used to when you're playing top lane. Just deny the enemy jungler as much resources as you can. If we take his blue buff, he no longer has a blue buff. So if you're just trying to escape here, I think they've seen me on a ward or something. I'm pretty sure there's a blasting cone. Hop over the top and, the, and she's finished. So start, So this is the basic combo. And she's dead. What I do normally is if i got time, I can charge up my w, w. If not... I go straight into the belly flop Q, and that's literally no, more than enough damage um, to just one shot everything, especially when you're this far ahead. Uh, you can throw your ultimate there after the Q because they're trying to be running from you if you surprise them or something like that. Um, so the ultimate there would have been would have been great. So we're gonna back here because we've got the Zonia's. Um, Zonia's great item on uh, Gragas for obvious reasons. Uh, he's a mage. The um, cooldown reduction is is really good on him, uh, and the stasis is obviously amazing. Because um, you you can go into a team fight, knock everyone up, and do you hit your Q and your W, but you'll get blown up quickly. So if you can rip your stasis really fast after, you'll be very very strong, and then your team can follow up. All right, so we're just we're seeing the enemy bot. Like, um, the, sorry, the enemy is all hovering bot, so we can go have a look. We know the dragon spawning soon. We got teleport in about thirty seconds, so if anything bad happens, we can go up there. We get the Ramesses flash because he dodged our belly flop. Pretty fast reaction time. Um, if you're playing Gragas jungle, just note that you are one of those junglers that have a really simple CC. And I want to see if I do it here. You can just belly flop. There it is there. Belly flop the um, scuttle grab to completely remove its shield, which makes it super easy to take it. Beautiful. Demolish it. Um, so, and then another thing. You want to be cycling your abilities off cooldown because you're getting, the, obviously, the passive, the healing, right? So the Blitzcrank's sitting on a ward. We land the knock up and hit the W and then we just auto attack him. He's dead. We had the barrel down, but we didn't, we didn't um, shoot it off in time. This Draven is really interested in us. See, I screwed up there. The barrel, if that went behind him, he dies instantly. I have to burn my flash to get close to him. And then we just belly flop him with the W loader, just in case he didn't die to the initial belly flop. And we Zonia's to save a bit of damage, which seems like... Oh, look, that's like that was uh, planned. But that was just terrible, because I was trying to um, not get damage so I could maybe fight in this fight. And it ended up being okay. I think I'm going to die to this Rama, surely. Oh, the team comes in clutch. Nice ultimate from the Nah. Last episode we did Nah. I don't think we had an ultimate that good. That was actually excellent. So team followed up at superbly well. They made me look good. Uh, but that was terrible for me. We can just belly flop over the wall. Again, another thing that you can do with the belly flop is just use it to get over walls. I keep calling it bo belly flop. It's body slam. Um, that's embarrassing. Um, oh, We died to the Draven, but luckily we got the bloody... Um, we got the Dragon. That was super close. So Blitzcrank's getting a bit excited, trying to get into the team, slap him. All right, so next, Morella Nomicon's actually super good as well uh, because it's just League of Healing these days. Hey, eh? There's just so much healing. Uh, so any any form of uh, healing cut is good, I think, uh, most of the time. Uh, excuse me, a little bit of sushi coming up there from dinner. I feel like Gregus right now at the moment. Big gut hanging out. Um... But yeah, so you want to be... What was I saying? I lost my train of thought. You want to be... Um, what was I saying? I have no idea what I was saying. Let's, let's ignore it. Uh, so what do we do? Oh yes, healing cut. So healing cut is um, is just a really reliable stat. Most games, there's, there's someone that has stupid healing. Uh, this game, Fiora, obviously, and then Draven. Um, beautiful ultimate there. We get the two, and then we just follow up with the, um, uh, with the barrel and the body flop. So we're just running around... Just having fun at this moment, at this point, guys. Look at that. Hit the belly flop into the, the Q. We charge up our W, get the auto attack, and she's actually finished. And at this point, like, I don't know if you can tell, I'm actively trying not to get kills anymore. I'm trying because I'm, I'm, at this point, it's like I'm full build. Do you know what I mean? I'm that far ahead. So I'm trying to get other people on my team fed. If I can get the jungler or the mid laner fed as well, then that makes it easier for us to win the game. And that's another good belly flop here. So you can see here, I'm not trying to get the kills, but if I can, I will. If I have to, sorry, I will. Another kill over the, to the Nah, absolutely amazing. 
And that's a disgusting queue. I think we just take this tower here. Draven's looking like he wants to stop us with his ultimate. But yeah, we're just running around. So this is the difference between, in my opinion, playing a, a groupy kind of champion like uh, Gragas is. There's the AoE. You, so you, when you're clearing camps as well, use your W for the AoE camps. Your Q, obviously. Um, we just get, I remember this, we get caught, I'm, I'm, get caught with our pants down, figuratively and literally, um, trying to get some chickens. Um, you know, sometimes you just feel like the KFC. You go through and the Blitzcrank and the Dragons uh, steal, the, steal it away from you. But yeah, the difference between Gragas and then the other champion is they, like the split pusher wants to stay in the side lane and, and generate a massive advantage on one lane, let the team 4v5 and draw pressure, where... I mean, you could kind of do this with a split push of this far ahead, but this is this is what Gragas wants to do. He wants to get into a scrap, and he just wants to blow his barrels everywhere and smash people with his ultimate. Um, so what does that end up doing? Sometimes it can make the games like a little bit non not as reliable, I guess, because I find if you just play those split pushy top laners and just stomp top and get all the get ten towers and just start shooting on everyone. Uh, it makes the game almost impossible to lose, but this is a more fun play style if you like team fighting. And um, yeah, so Gregus is a good champion for that. So let's gonna see what we can do here. Uh, Kane's going balls deep. He goes in, gets the blitz crank. He's gonna use his uh, E, goes through the wall. Akali assassinates him. We get the Akali with our big gut hanging out. And then we're looking for the. Dyrus, uh, the Draven rather. I want to throw the barrel behind him and I screw it up and hit him into the tower. So what I was trying to do there is throw it behind him, knock him back into our team. So basically the way you practice that is just to learn the range. So what I should be doing is I've got my key bound set up to shift shift ability to show the range. So I should have just done that and then I could see exactly where to throw the barrel to make it land um, behind him. So then we, we turn around, we get the uh, belly flop WQ onto the Fiora, chunk it at two thirds health and we land another Q. At this point, we're just running around like idiots. Um, you know, you can see our CS has dropped down. We're just having fun. Um, but if you if you were really serious about, you know, wanted to try hard, right now you could be top lane, getting the farm, getting it into the tower, rejoining, um, just to cause a bit of pressure. The Nah would be a better suited as the split pusher in this game, where I could be the, more of the group with the four, because even though I'm so far ahead, it'd just be better for the team fight. Um, it's a nice bar ult. We get the flash. We go straight onto the back line. We're 5v4 here. We're in too deep, guys. We use the Sonyas, but what's that going to do? Can we get one? Oh, no, we're dead. Too deep. Team couldn't follow up because I was low. Uh, and I went too ham. But that's all right. You, you're going to learn. Um, you're going to learn your limitations. At this point, I'm, I'm, I remember I was just laughing and just saying, this is this is so fun. Um, looked like one of my ults from the Nah, from the nah there. Just scooping nothing. But that's it, guys. That's his abilities. We'll quickly go through them again. Um, so you roll a cast. So the so the the passive is the happy hour. You get eight percent of your maximum health. So if you're building tank Gragas, obviously it works better because you have more max health. But that's fine. Just go full AP. It's more fun. Um, so you roll a, the cues. You roll a cast to a target location. You get sight. Um, you ferment it for two seconds and uh, uh, increasing its damage. I think I said it doesn't increase in damage. It might increase in damage uh, the longer you leave it there, but. You just, just pop it as soon as you can, um, just to get the damage out. That way you can uh, follow it up with your body slam straight away. Kane going in there deep to get the Akali. Um, yeah, and you can just recast it after it's, um, as soon as it's fully traveled. So you can't like cast it mid-air if that makes sense. You have to put it down and then explode it like it did that. So we use another bad ultimate there. I mean, we hit someone, but we didn't, we didn't knock him forward, uh, back towards our team rather. We do get the slow though. You can see the the indicator there on the Rama showing the healing cut that we've applied. So you can see the healing cut on the Draven, that little love heart with a slash through it. Um, if you didn't know, that's the Morello's procking. And then the AD carry goes and gets the kill. So that's beautiful for us. We're going to shove in mid lane and look to end this match quick, sooner rather than later. So that's the Q. Drunken Rage is the W. You take a drink of your barrel. Um, it's, it's like a channel, but you can still move around while you channel. It's not like you can't move. Um, and then you get the, I think the Akali comes in here and just gets a bunch of, if I remember correctly. No, no, she doesn't. Um, there might be one questionable Akali dive in. Um, but yeah, then the, the next auto attack does the AoE damage, the scales with magic damage, uh, very, very strong. Looks like we're posturing for um, the Baron. So right now, again, you want to, you want to, what's it called? Body slam, keep calling it belly flop. 
Belly flop the um, scuttle to get rid of its shield. Again, um, Sushi's coming up from dinner. Bard looking interesting, wants to go onto the Fiora here. Um, but he's going to get out of there. Um, so yeah, that's 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 the W. Um, again, the E is the Body Slam. It's probably my favorite ability on Gragas. The Q is fun, the ultimate's very fun as well. But there's something about ramming your massive gut into enemies that's very, very satisfying. The knock-up feels good, it's just the right amount of distance. Um, it's just a cracking ability. Um, so you can see here when I'm just being an idiot, our team can start getting clapped, especially if I'm the only one fed in the team. Um, so we've got a majority of the team's kills, so we need to be careful we're not like splitting and letting our team get smashed. Because I can't do the... the that's a good bard ult to stop the MF damage. But I'm going to get a massive ultimate. Boom, the double knock up with the, body, the belly flop. I'm going to keep calling it belly flop because I like to call it belly flop. The body slam. We're going to chase the Blitzcrank. It's a nice slow from the MF. And Blitzcrank knocks up, but he walks straight into my barrel. He's dead. 14.39. The CS numbers are down to like 5 per minute, which is not the best. Um, could, be a bit, could be a bit better. Even though this is a team, a groupy sort of champion, it still could probably be better. I, should be, I could be taking more... Uh, camps and uh, catching side waves when I can like right now there's nothing to do on the map maybe Baron and there's a massive wave top that I could grab I uh, was trying to channel that to W to get that uh, auto attack but I missed it there and then the ultimate very very straightforward ultimate throw your barrel out it explodes um, does a crap load of damage knocks enemies back so if you're looking like she wants to do this red buff but me and Bard have another idea I think we saw the Draven out of position as well so I think we're gonna yeah we're gonna go kill the Draven so th this is like, killing the Draven doesn't really do anything. Like, we should just be grouping around Baron. Right now, we could kill the Draven or take Baron. The obviously, the Baron would be so much more ver so much more valuable for our team. So we're just going to knock the Draven away from our team towards his tower, because I'm an idiot. And the Kane will CS that from me, but that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me, Bolly Betty flopped those minions. Um, looks like the enemy team looks to join, which is good for us, because we're all here and we can win a team fight. Uh, but we t oh, this is terrible, remember this. My Arcane Comet um, got the tower aggro, and then I get hooked by the, the Blitzcrank. Terrible, super unfortunate, and we just get our fourth death of the game. So not the best, cleanest game on Gragas. I got I got super fed early, and I'm just running around like an idiot. Um, but yeah, that's what I mean about Gragas. He's, he's a little he's a little bit more... Um, there's see, I can see myself hovering over uh, the Arcane Comet to remind myself to say, what an idiot, how shit is that? Um, that's a nice ultimate from the Nile, knocking everyone back. I don't think it's going to help that. But yeah, he's um, he's a little bit more vulnerable. He's a little bit more uh, squishy. And that makes sense because he's a massive uh, stomach. Um, but then a lot of the other top laners or any other you know other champions for that matter. So that's basically it, guys. Um, Gragas, would I re recommend him? Well, honestly, if you're a new player, he's quite simple to play. Uh, he has very... Like, he has an easy kit to understand. Um, look at the, look at his gut, and his gut swings around superbly when he runs. It's amazing. It's like me when I'm running to get my Uber Eats from the front door of my house. So there, so he look at that, he just he just swings around there. He's a super easy and fun champion to play as well. Um, abilities have some sorry some champions have very satisfying abilities, um, and you know there's Gragas' ultimate is one of those abilities. Um, if you just hit a five man and everything blows up. So yeah, as you can see, this is the basic clearing pattern you can do with Gragas. You put the barrel down, uh, let it charge up, and then explode it. Deal as much damage as possible. And we just got to be careful right now, because the Ramus wanted to start the dragon, so I'm going to TP in to stop this, you know, to help with this dragon. I'm just going to wait for my team. There's no rush right now to just show myself. They don't know I'm here. Now they do, because Blitzcrank popped the Scrying Orb. Uh, so Kali immediately taps the W. And she's going to come into me and she's going to get absolutely blown up. Because I just instantly belly flop and CC her. Throw the barrel at the Ramus, get him away from that dragon. Get off that dragon, bastard. That's our dragon. And then we just take the dragon. Simple as that. So, play around objectives. As I was saying, he's not one of those push champions. Um, go to the objectives, win the objectives. Um, that, that'll win you the game. Um, I could have been a bit more... Um, What's the word here? Leading by example, going towards Baron. and This is just a free Baron right now. We should be at Baron. Um, you know, we could push the bot lane tower as well, but we could just get the Baron and then do that. Uh, we can take the Baron off the map so the enemy team can't do it. And we just get more gold and we get more further ahead. Um, that was a good uh, body slam dodge to dodge the Blitzcrank hook as well. So another 
another cool thing you can do with uh, the body slam so even though he's a simple champion there are things you can do with him that are pretty cool um there are some bonkers videos of people lining up barrels in a bush and then they people not like go in with the belly flop knock people with their ultimate into their barrel and one shot it it's just it looks super cool it's like a pinball um obviously body slam through walls over walls um and it's a super good engage tool so we can focus more on the game here what i should be doing um oh again we body slam the hook fantastic the cooldown at this point is pretty low so we're just going to clear a wave so right now what we want to do is get a pick win a team fight um and get the baron that's what we want to try and do here because we will win the team fight the akali is just suiciding as soon as she comes in first thing i did is done it twice now is just body slam her she can't do anything she's knocked up in the air my team can just one shot her so she didn't learn her lesson from before we're just pushing mid in we could right now just go to the baron like they can't really stop us uh, but we're just you know we're being greedy just having fun trying to kill people so we get the ta uh, minions on the tower and look they can just sit on the tower and defend this forever we don't really we have a decent siege like because of my barrels and that to like whittle them down then we could, like dive it but uh we're going for the split push where kane will just split push not the best siege uh, so we're just going to shove in mid again let kane try and get something in the bot side but um the enemies are missing so i'm kind of like half hovering bottom to go help the cane if he gets collapsed that's fine we're going to just go engage onto the um the ramus he's going to get away he's super fast we use the barrel we don't quite get him i think i flash him belly flop so another thing you do is flash belly flop um to extend the range that way you can catch people out you know by surprise um it's not in this video but i remember when i was playing a few games with gregus um there's certain times when an enemy's low and they think they're safe and you can uh in the lane your enemy laner they're like at you know relatively low health you just flash body slam instantly like you flash on top of the body slam q instantly and they die and they don't know what the hell happened because they're not fast enough to react with their own flash so keep that in mind as well so again um so now we get we get a couple picks um and we can just go take the baron um as long as i'm not tanking the baron we should be able to do quick mf there we've got our whole team this should, we should be able to melt this thing um and then i'm just gonna go try and zone for my team throw my barrels my major source is my barrels so i'm just gonna zone so my team don't like lose the baron oh god oh my god <laughs> the bloody draven stole the baron super sad nah jumps on top of the akali we're gonna body slam the blitzcrank oh we get him with a slow bang there's the ultimate i want to knock them both into my team and the belly flop and the zonias to make myself look like a pro so i don't die so we did lose the baron that sucks it's gonna slow the game down a touch because uh, we could probably just go mid and end right now if, if we didn't do that uh but it is what it is now we've got super minions pushing against us which is going to draw out the game uh fortunately we just missed the smite on the um, baron there man the draven has done a good job this game of trying to steal objectives he did that on the dragon and nearly got it as well all right so just having a look around um another thing i didn't do as well this game is um just get control wards um for the vision that draven probably had vision on the baron so maybe that's why he got a good ultimate off or he had a lucky guess uh so if you're setting up to do an objective just buy a control or chuck it in there um i know the support should be doing that as well but if you have a free slot just buy it uh throw it down so what are we doing now so we backed off we backed and we got the void staff um at this point in the game if the enemy has any um mr this will be good because we can cut through it and just make us do more damage to those targets uh, like the ramus he's probably stacking it i didn't check the items that he's got um but yeah so night harvester into zonia's i get the sorcerer's boots in there uh, and then go have uh, morellonomicon if it's a heavy um healing game which most literally every game is these days and then go for a uh void stuff and then death cap that's that's the full ap just no mucking around that field so we go for the uh ultimate we hit the draven we do a lot of damage but i think we're gonna get a cc here we don't quite have our zonias up we have been a, that would have been a great zonias would have just delayed enough for our team to follow up but the enemy uh making a deal of this the cane thankfully is uh, just absolutely slapping everyone and the nah and everyone else finishes off the akali triple kill to the jungler and that's it guys um 
obviously not the best game is a very is a probably an entertaining one to watch to just get super fed and just throw barrels around and hit everyone uh, slap people um, but you know clean it up guys get your objectives push through and win the game that's what we're here to do so it looks like Kane's going to end the game here from memory. I think he just goes and pushes. They don't, they don't stop him. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like. Hit the subscribe button. We've gone through every champion. Um, yeah, I think next we got uh, Graves. So Graves Jungle should be a fun time. So thank you all so much for watching. And remember, guys, when you're playing Gragas, at the end of the day, it's nighttime. Take it easy.